Hello Floss2, my name is Tamara and in today's video I wanted to show you two finished projects um, like uh, the progress on the other work in project, work in process and um, I will tell you a little bit of my future plans, very like near plans, uh, close plans and uh, in the end of the video i will uh, insert um, another video <laughs> small one about the tower of london which we visited uh, on uh, one of the bank holidays queen's bank holidays and uh, in the very 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 end uh, you'll see even the um, images which i could uh, film from uh, the platinum jubilee elizabeth's platinum jubilee so enjoy this video and i am almost done with uh, this design this is summer wings by just Nan. this is the fourth homebook of the series which i oops sorry homebook of the series which i am uh, stitching and decided to show you how it looks without being like uh, finished because um, i did this with the previous um, three designs as I think that the beauty of the entire design you can see only before <laughs> before being folded up because when it's folded yes you can see what is it you can see how it looks like but anyway um, having this um, how they say view of the design itself being stitched it's just like this so um, I um, stitched it pretty quickly I would say uh, even if there were a lot of colors so here i kept the dmc uh, threads which were used in these designs and this design and for such a small design i would say it's a lot uh, but uh, many of them we use just for backstitch just for a few cross stitches so yes a lot of uh, threads but um, um, not a, a lot of it uh, of the thread it was used there were a few like basic threads which we use most, very few, and the rest of them were just a little bit. So the design consists of uh, uh, butterflies. By the way, yes, I didn't tell you that originally the design has to be stitched on uh, Blue Whisper shell linen, and the color of the Blue Whisper should be like this one, because I haven't used this color, this thread, by the way. This thread was supposed to be used just to make the border backstitch, which is, which is used afterwards for um, connecting the, the parts. And uh, as I didn't use the original, uh, originally recommended um, uh, fabric, I had in my stash uh, the ice blue cashel linen, which I thought that also it's going to be okay. I used this one, I used the ice, ice blue, and then, um, According to the DMC color uh, catalog, I already um, chose, so that's why this one is with a needle here, because I'm going to use uh, with, uh, uh, like, to stitch together the uh, the home book. So this is 162, so I just chose for this one. Um, I used to do this, so when I'm replacing the fabric, I used to choose uh, the for the border uh, backstitch, I used to choose already a different uh, color, the one which uh, is according to the color of the fabric. At least this is the initial idea which uh, Nan um, like uh, intended, that's why I'm trying to keep uh, as well not a con contrasting, though, though, if you like using a con contrasting, I mean like totally different color, of course you can, because still I think it's going to look interesting. So speaking about the stitching itself, I said that it was very easy. Um, it's a cross stitch. Um, there wasn't any petite stitch, which is quite good because a lot of the uh, Just Nine designs have petite stitches. Uh, but it was this like um, uh, writing, which is pretty, I would say, um, consuming, time consuming. So this uh, summer, uh, Humbug says that summer breezes lift lacy wings. Uh, nice one. Uh, so it's three butterflies. Uh, they all of, all three of them are absolutely the same. So because Nan uses to have at the first glance the same uh, uh, elements, but uh, they have something different now. Here all three butterflies are the same. It's just this one. It's in the other direction. And this one looks in this true like the edge. One, two ones which are at the, on the edge, they look into a different direction. The flowers, um, 
nice. I would say very nice. There is a speciality stitch here. It was the Levia, the Levia front stitch, if I'm not wrong. So here on the wings with the pink color. And uh, as I said already, the back stitch. Two types of beads, like the ones which come here, and the peanut beads, which I would say had here the most genius use. So they constitute the body of the bees. And it, so in the instructions, it is said word by word how to do it. And I think it, the effect is, is super great. So first of all, it said that um, you should like, uh, because the wings of these bees, they are stitched in two or three white uh, stitches and that's it. So you have to do this antennae. And then you take the peanut bead, you fix it to the, you attach it to the, uh, um, fabric going through the bead and then you are going like up the bead so that you would make the uh, um, yellow and white uh, um, sim likeness of the um, bee body so I, I adore this this effect because in the first one the first one which I stitched it was uh, autumn there weren't any uh, peanut beads the other two they had been peanut beads, but they were just uh, like used as decor decoration, but here decoration and uh, how they say embodying the body of the bees at the same time. Yeah, it's genius. It's genius. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot. So uh, yes, um, my next step is to put everything together and I'm going to be back for you. It's going to be probably in a second and I'll show you the fourth, the last, and of course you'll see my whole collection of these home books. And here they are, my four beauties, and finally this dream is fulfilled. Yes, I wanted very, very much these home books. Um, these are not the only home books I have from Just Nan. I mean, like, stitched and finished. I'll show you in um, a few seconds or a few, in a few minutes uh, which are the others which I have. But these ones were the ones which I wanted very, very much. And um, I... Um, um, collected them one by one I would say because uh, this was the first one which I managed to buy on our local eBay for a super great price um, then I managed this one to find in another shop and this true I bought the last ones from eBay because I was like hunting them looking for them to find them for an adequate uh, price because probably you know that now they are quite expensive and uh, when I finally had these two, like this, they were the last ones which came into my collection, I uh, started immediately uh, stitching them one by one seasonally. And the first season, which was uh, the first season when I could start them, it was autumn. That's why they're like this, because this was the first one which I, uh, I made. So this, this one, is, I would say it doesn't have so many um, embellishments. So it's just this uh, petite beads. And that's it. But it's very, very nice. I like it a lot, I would say. And um, the, uh, yes, the pin. The pin. I said that these pins couldn't be bought separately. So they were sold just with this uh, uh, design. So this is the harvest moon, the full moon. Uh, then uh, the next one, which I stitched, it was the winter one, which comes with, with such a snowflake pin and this one comes with one white uh, opal shell all of them are stitched on shell linen because the key recommends uh, the 28th count this one is very um now the light doesn't show these sparkles but when uh, there is artificial light i mean the electric one <laughs> um it's uh, it's very sparkly very sparkly very nice uh this was the one which i stitched not a long time ago or maybe a long time ago because it was like three months ago. <laughs> uh, it's the spring one. So here I changed the 
um, linen, so it was recommended kind of a bluish linen, linen if I'm not wrong, that changed it into mint green. I love this mint green for all my uh, just name things, and this is the tulip uh, pin, very beautiful. And here it is with this peanut beads, which are nice. And of course, the latest, this is the butterfly. Here it is, with the butterfly pin. Yeah, super happy, super nice. And speaking about these home books, so I said these are the last four home books, but before this I have like been stitching and finishing five more throughout the years since I'm stitching just now. So um, I have such a, oh dear, this one is called. If I'm not wrong, the chart and the embellishment pack of this one are still sold on Lunch Free Stitch. I'm not sure, but I think I saw it until recently. The pin itself, uh, it should have been bought separately and it was like the time when I still bought these pins from a shop. So when I started my um, Just Nan crazy love and stitching, still in the shops were the latest available pins which I could buy for decent normal prices. <laughs> so this is the case, I would say. And this one is stitched also on 28th count because it also has the same uh, size as uh, this ones. You see, they come in the same size. Uh, then I have uh, two... I don't remember how this one is called, it's with um, vases, with um, flowers and uh, mice. This one used to have an original pin, but there came a time when I decided that I don't need that pin with a mouse and I sold it, <laughs> by the way. And uh, what I have here instead, it's a pin from uh, Susan Clark's Originals. It's the only pin I bought from her, from my first, first order, because I wanted to see how her pins look like and um, decided that yes i can make my own pins as well and this pin came here because i think it fits the colors the flowers the everything so and this one is smaller then i have such a bunny and again this bunny um home book if i'm not wrong also is sold on one two three still is being sold it's not out of production um stitched it like two or three three years ago, I think, I don't know how, how long ago, but it was like stitched. And uh, I was stitching it for Easter, if I'm not wrong. I, I don't remember exactly. And it's recommended here, it's recommended to, to um, attach, to put the, um, um, the spin, the violet, not the violet, I forgot how the spin is called. So also it was bought by me in those times when I still could buy for free, how they say, uh, freely. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, like they were sold like in the shops, I mean the Just Nam pins. Then I have the last two are going to be Halloween and they are come the tiniest and they come um, different, I would say, because they have a ribbon to hang them. And you see this ones, they are standing and when they are standing, by the way, this one also had a ribbon and I took it out. Uh, the um, central uh, topic, how they say, the central design, it comes like this, you see, because they are standing like this and you can see like the central topic. These ones, if you are going to put them like this, you see, they don't have a central topic because they come like this. It's In this case, it's two owls. You see, like one comes like here and the other one comes here. And uh, this owl pin also, it was recommended. I put it separately, I mean. Comes like this. I love this one. And the fact that they are smaller and then can be hanged, uh, honestly, it's it's even nice, this, this thing. And uh, the last one I have, this is also Halloween. This is Jack, 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 on, I don't remember, Crazy Jack. Don't remember how it's called. This one is stitched on 32nd count, and by the way, I stitched it according to the key, I mean the count of the um, fabric, the threads, everything, and this is the tiniest, also it has like the ribbon, and this one is the tiniest, by the way, but I think this is how it was supposed to be. Um, this one didn't have any pins recommended, this is the pin which I thought that it's going to be appropriate, because also it's a pumpkin jack pin, and this one also, it's a hanging one, kind of something like this. So per total, I have nine, nine homebooks. Um, 
I would say that I would stop here, uh, but if, in case Just Nan is going to release, I don't know, a new one, a series, which is going to be like so beautiful that I wouldn't resist, <laughs> honestly, I, 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 I would buy that one. So I'm not promising that these are the last ones. If uh, new ones are not going to be released, yes, these are all my home books. If new ones are going to come, or maybe there is an uh, old design which I don't have and I'll find. So why not? Why not? And by the way, I wanted to show you. So this is the tray which I um, painted myself. It proved to be very, very useful because inside of it, I'm making my collections. For example, I wanted to show you this ones were inside. That's why they are around. So this is the floral 15 with the pins. Uh, about all of these things, I have videos. So of course you'll find out. This is the um, tiny floral, um, 15 floral, 15 tiny gardens yes this is the, which i stitched uh, on the 28th count so it's not the original one because i have the original one i mean with the original embellishment pack on the 32nd count this one i stitched on 28th so that it would have the same um, size as this one and i made my own pins for this one and yes this one also has pins as you can see then it's my magic ball <laughs> This one also has a pin. It's it looks exactly as the one which is recommended here, but this one I did by myself. It looks exactly as the original one. I adore this ball. I have also in my stash the chart and the embellishment pack for the uh, winter one. And I'm like for two winters, <laughs> I think I am like um, telling myself that I have to do that one, but still I haven't done it. But I will for sure because I adore them. And then I have uh, the ladybug. This one. Yes, I know that there was a series of four. I bought this one from the local eBay for like its normal price at that time. I and probably I won't buy the, the rest of them because they are sold rarely and I would say very expensive. So this one usually it's closed. And also I have my star. This one. And yes, I have the design for the, um, I mean, the chart with the embellishment pack for the Halloween one, but still I'm not making my, putting myself together to, to do it. So I have to, I have to co collect myself and uh, make the uh, Halloween one as well. So yes, I'm trying to make, um, this to display like the just Nan seasonal, I mean seasonal things here and they are very, very nice. And by the way, I'm thinking about like uh, painting one more tray because, um, it's not enough. So I thought that I would need probably one for just Nan and one for the other designs, uh, which I have also summer designs. So yes, when I'm going to be in the hobby craft, I'll look for more trays. I almost finished uh, one more seasonal uh, design, uh, which I uh, tend to do seasonally. So this is a series of uh, houses by, uh, just a sec, I'll show you. So this is a series of houses by uh, Debbie Mom, Four Seasons, by Debbie Mom and released by Mill Hill. So designer is Debbie Mom, the cross-stitch <laughs> uh, designer who released uh, cross-stitch brand which released uh, this one is uh, is um, Mill Hill. So now I'm uh, stitching the uh, summer, Summer Hill House. And uh, yes, the um, chart and the ready design, uh, they're very different because the chart is old. And I bought this chart old because it was being sold with the embellishment pack. And I wanted very much the embellishment pack because such as I said previously, because you see these red um, treasures, they have kind of red beads, uh, they are out of production. So I tried pre before like um, getting everything together for this design. I tried to buy them separately, I couldn't find them. And when I found the chart being sold with, with the embellishment pack, I bought it like straight away because because it was... It, it was... Uh, how they say, good to do it financially. Okay, so I stitched and backstitched and did everything, absolutely everything, except the beads. So I am to attach the beads now. And uh, just brought here to rem remind you that I already stitched this spring, uh, spring design. 
the spray design is this one look so the chart is is okay so it looks almost like okay the chart is a little bit more um how they say highlighted not highlighted the light is is brighter i would say the colors are brighter and this is how it looks like so this one is the meadow hill house and uh, i still have two two stitch I'll, i'm i intend to do this like seasonally so i have the um, um oak hill house the autumn one and i have the pine hill house the winter one so the winter one was the one which i saw and made me fall in love <laughs> with these uh, houses and um like when I started looking for this design, I just uh, found out that there is a four season series and that's why I said that, yes, I'm going to buy everything. Okay, so uh, yes, everything is done. The threads, threads are DMC, brought them here. Like they are still in, not taken away because I'm going to attach the beads with the DMC thread. I used to do this like in all my Mill Hill designs. I'm not using like Nemo or uh, of invisible beading threads which we usually use for other designs because here they make an effect like when you are using the, the thread they recommend um, yeah and the work I wouldn't say that it's an easy one you know because uh, what you see here so here it's uh, 6,000 uh, stitches and uh, the heel is the most difficult to be made because it contains 4,000 stitches and it's uh, not a lot of color. So it's like per total, I think it's four or six uh, green shades, but they are mixed. It's a mixture. And uh, also uh, you have to be careful to leave space for um, uh, beads. And that's why it makes a little bit more difficult to stitch this one. The house, the trees, no matter that there is a lot of backstitch here, it's easier because I don't know, you're doing very, it very quickly. You are seeing what you're doing. But here you are stitching, 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 and it's a big green <laughs> pool and you don't realize what you are stitching actually. Okay, so here is a dog actually. Uh, this uh, red uh, stitches will turn into a water can. Uh, two pots with plants here. And uh, there is a table and a chair. So here it's a slice of watermelon birds which uh, uh, some of the uh, edging stitches were uh, the key set to, to stitch them in uh, like you know like petites like little stitches one of two over one didn't do it replaced with three quarter stitches and it looks perfect with the back stitch I would say perfect for me at least and yes the the, the uh, trees had a lot of backstitch lot of backstitch but it was easy to be done so no, not complicated and there is a sun as well which will need of course beads around it so um, yeah you see this one i already cut uh, smaller that one i used the whole piece of fabric i had but here i already counted and cut and it's better i'm going to cut that one as well so that all of them would have the same uh, amount of fabric around them around the design i mean and uh yeah the it's there are quite a lot of petites i would say like four these are petites and these are the oh there is a magnet i am calling them normal bits usually <laughs> these ones you know and there is like the treasures and also there is um number eight also persimmon it's called the color i think they are going to be um uh like they are going to be fruit on the trees and this fruit where is it i don't know why i'm i suppose that maybe it's apples i don't think it's cherries it's there to be to be cherries i think apples they are going to be apples they resemble apples to me so yes I don't know how much time it's, it will take for me, but it's going to be like in a sec and you'll see the uh, work already with the beads attached. And the design is ready, the beads are attached and here we are. It took me a little bit more time than I, I thought it will take, uh, mostly because um, it was a lot of petite beads. So, no, in the previous design, there weren't so many, at least I, I, I remember so. But uh, due to this petite beads, I like more how this design uh, uh, looks like. 
um, first of all, all the uh, heel, the greenness of the heel, it was uh, like filled in with petite bits, everything, and it's a lot here. <laughs> so this is the most work which I have done. It means this is the most time which I have spent on this uh, design. Um, then uh, already we have the water can, we have the doggy, the um, house and the watermelon slice, you see, already you can see it nicely. I like the uh, door handle, <laughs> it's just one bit red. The roof, of course I'll try in the end to film like everything as I usually do. And uh, the sun also has, has um, petite yellow beads around it and already the apples. I still tend to think that these are apples. So this is, uh, you know, like the big beads number eight by Mill Hill and the treasures. And here I made a mistake. So first I started attaching on this uh, tree and I, um, I just didn't pay attention which is which, I mean the symbols. And where I had to attach the treasure, I attached the bead and vice versa. I just realized when I went to the second uh, tree, so the second tree is made according to the key, and then I thought the apples don't grow in a certain order, they don't have a certain pattern, isn't it? It's nature. So that's why I just added here like two more um, bits, because here there are eight, uh, number eight bits, but here I had five, so I had two more here, and this is it, I think. It looks very natural, this one. And uh, yeah, to be honest, I like, uh, if to compare between the spring design and this, the summer one, summer so far is my favorite. I don't know why, maybe because I like the colors the most, maybe because I stitched it faster because I stitched it with the app. I don't know, but um, it's fabulous. For those who like such color therapies, I mean like, um, the combination of such colors and threads, you'll feel a great, great joy stitching it. Because um, I think I said, and I will repeat myself, for me it's important the um, process itself. So, I mean like while stitching, yes, I like the result. Yes, it's very nice when you have a very, very, um, how do I say, uh, exquisite uh, finishing, like finished, uh, stitched, uh, mm, item but nevertheless for me stitching it it's the most important thing i mean like how i um, like the colors how i like the um pattern how i like the project project itself the process how it's going on so for me it's very important this thing and i had a great great joy um, stitching this one and yes i am very glad by the way that i still um, um was uh, stubborn enough <laughs> and I was uh, running and looking for the um, fabric which was recommended uh, by the key because I think that this design looks very nice especially on this uh, on this uh, fabric which is recommended by the, by the key um, I remind you that it's uh, Jobelaine, the bluebell yes and by the way I uh, like how the um, stitch stitching looks on job lane i don't have i have stitched on job lane previously because it was recommended by, by the key but i don't have any job lane in my stash my stash is mainly um made of uh, linen the 28th and 32nd count so this uh, this is the basic um i have some aida since like years and years ago when i used to stitch on aida um, and honestly i don't know if i'm going to use it anymore and um, I have some uh, 36th count and uh, very few 40th count because still very little count for me. It's not comfortable enough for my eyes to stitch. Yes, I, I see well. I don't see very well because I need the uh, glasses for, for small stitches. But uh, still, it's, it's difficult for me. That's why I'm not like... Uh, how they say, if it's difficult for me to stitch uh, small stitches, small count, I'm not doing this kind of, this is the thing. Okay, so what, what I wanted to say actually is that I thought seriously that I have to go on one to free stitch and to look there what uh, job lane they have for, say, for uh, sale, I mean, to buy myself some job lane in the stash, just like this, in the stash. And that's it. So half of the project is done, two seasons are stitched and 
we'll meet with this uh, project in autumn, when autumn is going to be stitched. But until then, enjoy your summer! And I made some more progress on uh, Sansusi Castle and Gardens. Um, I um, started stitching part three. Was sure that I will finish it because uh, looking at the um, things I have to stitch here, I said it's going to be easy and quick. But no, <laughs> um, I wouldn't say it was difficult, but it was time consuming, much more time than I was uh, I was thinking. And I noticed that this is the thing about the sh about shuttling. It's um, it's uh, it takes uh, time, quite a lot of time to do all the steps uh, to reach the um, <laughs> the end of uh, of uh, a certain part. So I started the part three, uh, which is um, how did I show you? Is these two frames, this one and this one, and inside there are two statues, like this one and this one. So what I have managed to do, I managed to stitch the frames themselves. And by the way, I was so surprised because the frames, because it's frame within a frame, something like this. So the frames, uh, there were without like seven or eight stitches, 1000 stitches. I was so surprised because I was sure of it. Okay, yes, it's one uh, color. Okay, yes, you have to count carefully, but still it's a lot. I think it's a lot because one day it took me just to stitch these frames. Um, I left the fl frames uh, empty and uh, started here to stitch the, uh, the statue. And surprise, surprise, the statue was very time consuming because it seems that uh, it had quite a lot of colors, a lot of um, three quarter stitches, and her face is stitched in um, micro micro stitch or how one over one, and I'm stitching on thirty second count. So yes, it's not a um, how they say, not a big. Um, surface but still it takes time and changing the uh flaws all the time like uh, having to pay attention not to make be wrong and make a mistake and then there is um, a back stitch on top of everything so the result is impressive i like it very very much how it looks like so it's very nice but it took time it took quite a lot of time to do it um and finishing this one i was already tired and i said okay i'm going to stop make a break um, from this um, design and i'm going to stitch something else but before doing that i said okay let me um how they say relax a little bit and uh, fill in the frame with the uh, speciality stitches because inside the frames there are there aren't any cross stitches it's just speciality stitches so um, it's uh, Algerian eyelets which are made with uh, Gloriana and then it's rice stitch which is made with uh, three different threads um, it took time again it took more time than I was expected but what I like about the speciality stitches is that um, I have to look a little bit in the beginning and then I don't have to look in the chart, I don't have to look anywhere. I'm just doing them and I'm relaxing and I can watch a film, um, listen to something where I can look, like not keep my eyes only on, on stitching, so on and so forth. So yes, it was time consuming, but I spent that time nicely and I didn't feel it like passing. And uh, when I started like doing, because first I made the Algerian eyelets, I thought, why not making these speciality stitches there as well in that uh, in that frame, so that I wouldn't work uh, double. I mean, like I took that floss, I'm doing here, I'm doing there, because it's absolutely the same thing to do. By the way, this is um, this is a way 
or a method of uh, working which I am applying to all the designs uh, like this. For example, because if I would have stitched, for example, Algerian eyelets only here, when I would have went there, I would have to remember where I have to place them and other, you know, like small things. But now doing here, there, it's exactly the same. It's the same um, thread, so it's quicker. And this saves time because many times... Um, you write in comments that I stitch quickly. No, it's not quickly. It's, um, first of all, I stitch um, almost every day, I would say. And I um, allow myself uh, time for stitching. So I stitch every day. I stitch uh, many hours, I would say. More or less many hours. And um, one more thing is that I try to think logically how to make my steps so that I would save time as well. I do. I started doing this with my uh, just then uh, um, stitching. So there, I learned how to organize myself uh, that I wouldn't lose time. <laughs> okay. So did the uh, Algerian eyelets when I made the rice stitches, which again <laughs> were like wow. It took a lot of time. And by the way, with the Algerian eyelets, um, a new thread for me came in work. So this is uh, Rainbow Gallery Silk Lame braid. Petite silk lame braid. I haven't used it so far in any of my uh, um, projects. I mean, like, not Chatelaine, not others. I was very, very well imp impressed uh, by this uh, thread. I like it a lot. A lot. So, I don't know if uh, it's going to... Uh, I will have to make uh, cross stitches with it, but in uh, specialty stitches, this one is great. This one is great. And uh, the beads, yes, I had to um, attach beads. So this is my bead organizer, B bead organizer, which is getting richer and richer because first I worked just with these two colors. And uh, now I added this one and uh, I did the thing which I said that I would do. So I uh, sticked here, um, how they are called? Mm, okay, little stickers. And I wrote the number of the, uh, the beads so that I would know which is which. And uh, here I needed just this beautiful blue and this gold one. And <clears throat> on the corners, the four corners, um, I had to attach uh, margaritas, the trial medium. The uh, key says that they should be eight millimeters. I started attaching the eight millimeters and they were too big. Um, it wasn't so critical. They were not huge, so that you would understand me correctly, but they were covering this uh, row of beads, like this one and this one. And they were going up them. They were not, at least in my exception, they were not okay. And um, first I kind of started being desperate about this. <laughs> And then I thought, what if I'm going to change with a smaller size? For example, next size is six millimeters. Mm, also the trial medium. Thanks God I had 10. <laughs> this is six millimeters. I just took one, attached it, and it was perfect. So in my case, I'm going to change the eight millimeters to six millimeters. Um, I purchased them Oh, I think I didn't purchase them for other project, I hope, because I'll have to check and buy more if uh, I'm going to use them in another project. But um, I need eight because it's going to be like four here and four in those uh, um, corners. I attached them with a petite seed bead from Mill Hill. Just looked in my stash, found one which would be like appropriate and just use it. You can do absolutely the same. Me, for example, I like attaching the margaritas with a petite uh, seed bead like here, like attaching with that one. Um, of course, you can do your way. Um, I saw about these uh, corners because these frames are going to be a lot. So I'll have to repeat this work many times. They are smaller, bigger, but they are. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Come on. Where are you? Here it is. So I wanted to show you that um, these frames, they are smaller, you see, like here, smaller, bigger, again, but I will have like one, two, three, four, five, by two, it's going to be 10, at least 10, these frames I will need uh, as well. 
and um, I saw in the stitcher's uh, case, she's stitching also this one, she used these margaritas in all the rest of the, of the uh, frames. The designer, Martina, she uh, doesn't recommend having um, um, like in all of them, just in these uh, starting ones. Uh, this because uh, afterwards it's uh, it's beads so you fill in with beads or with a uh, speciality stitch I don't remember um, so um, I thought I will think about it if I want to add um, margaritas in the rest or no because after this uh, um, frames is going to be the um, terraced uh, garden in front and I'll have time to think how, how to do what to do next Mm, about these margaritas, maybe if you're going to stitch on the 28th count, maybe they are going to fit. I'm stitching on 32nd, so I don't know what will happen if you're going to stitch on 28th. So this is my case. If you're stitching on 20, when first on 32nd, just take into consideration this one. And um, yeah, that's it. <clears throat> Let me show you once again how this one looks like. It's beautiful. It's impressively beautiful, honestly. I like it a lot. So, um, what I intend to do more, of course, I have already to... By the way, about the statue, didn't tell you. I tried to find out, and I don't know if I'm, I am right, but um, I think... I'll try to insert a photo. I think this is uh, the statue of Flora, the goddess of flowers, and it's in one of the um, gardens of San Susi in... Marley's Garden, I think it's called. I may be wrong. I have to go there <laughs> to see it with my eyes. Um, but yeah, I think it's this one. If you know for sure, if you have been there and you know for sure which sta which statue is this one, just tell me. And uh, the, the other one is going to be Friedrich uh, the second, the one which uh, made the Sanssouci estate. So this is this is going to be him. Okay, so, so far, this is my progress. I will keep you in touch. Of course, I'll show you how this work is going on because, as I said, so far, this is the largest, biggest, and yes, most expensive project I have ever stitched. And shortly I will show you what I have been stitching uh, here on my Lily Sampler. So not a lot of stitching. I managed to stitch the Bargello here stitch. It's a very easy one. Yes, indeed. So I made the dark green um, stitches first and then I filled in the, the rest of the colors. So yes, it was easy. You just have to be very um, attentive in the beginning when you start them. And I have um, a little bit of, a little bit more cross stitches here because um, I um, thought about starting like uh, the petites here in the center, but uh, nevertheless, I decided that I will finish first my uh, summer projects. I mean, the, um, um, how it's called, the Humbug from uh, Just Nan and the Debbie Mom uh, Summer Design and then I will continue with this one. So now uh, this work is going to be kind of uh, main project and I want to stitch it uh, until I'm going to finish it and hope that in the next videos you'll see it um, finished. So what I intend to do is to stitch the petites here and um, if it's going to be um, tiring, I will alternate here with the usual cross stitches I have to do. So I'll tell you how fast the, the rest of it is going to, to be. And what is going to be next, meaning what I'm going to stitch next. Okay, yes, I'm going to continue like my big projects. I'm going to continue stitching Sanssouci Castle. I will try to stitch my London project by Luca S. Why do I say try? Because I haven't stitched anything since I last showed you in a video. And um, I will try hard <laughs> to stitch Lily Sampler because I um, want this design to be, this project to be the next uh, finished uh, work, finished project. 
And uh, from the new designs, which I'll start, I will start, start my project, which I was like getting together for um, um, some time already. So this is going to be the Shepherd's Fold by Shepherd's Bush. I showed you in a video with purchases that I finally got all the pieces of this puzzle that I even painted my own box, <laughs> didn't buy the um, shaker's box. And I hope uh, that I will manage this summer um, stitch and make all these beautiful pieces. Um, I will start with the small ones. I already said that I don't know which one, but I'll start with these like small ones because um, for the big one, for the um, box uh, cover for the lid of the box. I want to make the count bigger, so I want to make it into 28, not with the 30 second, because my box is bigger. And I hope that the leftovers, thread leftovers, which are going to be from uh, these uh, designs, I'm going to use here, especially the the green uh, green silk here, because this is the one which I I think that is going to miss. I will miss the most. And. Um, yeah, that's it. And um, in the end of this video, I will uh, insert a small video, didn't make it big, about the Tower of London. We have been uh, there uh, this the bank uh, holidays, I mean the Queen's Bank holiday. It was the Jubilee Platinum of um, uh, Queen uh, Elizabeth. And um, yeah, it's a shame that uh, we haven't been there for after seven years living here. <laughs> but, uh, you know, before baby we didn't manage and after baby we had the the um, lockdowns. Why do I say before and after baby? Because uh, probably many of you know that there are two basic rules there. You are not allowed to go uh, with high heels, not because you're going to get tired, but because the pavement there is uh, from... Um, uh, rocks so it's an old one and they try to keep it like uh, uh, as much as possible not to destroy it and you are not allowed with buggies so there is a buggy park in the end at the entrance you park your buggy and you take your child with you so you either have to carry your child to, like in your arms which is quite tiring <laughs> or your child should be like uh, big enough to walk by by himself by herself so we decided to like not to carry the child, but to leave him, let him like grow enough and walk with him. But as I said, when it was like um, it was possible, we had the lockdowns. Okay, nevertheless, I just told my husband that yes, this like bank holidays, we are going to go there. I cannot wait anymore. And uh, the thing is that uh, on. Um, on that day, there was a kind of a air parade, I would say, for the Queen's uh, Jubilee. Uh, it was best seen that uh, parade from uh, Buckingham Palace, but we uh, like saw it from the uh, Tower Bridge. Yes, from up the Tower Bridge. Yes, we didn't even know about this one. Just the guy from the entrance. He told you. He told us uh, like pay attention that at two o'clock is going to be the parade so if you are up there you can see it like nicely and so we said thank you thank you thank you and you'll see this in the end i try to film some some things i hope you like it and uh, yes i made two purchases for cross stitch i mean like their accessories from the tower of uh, tower of london so that i have um, i have um, some memories first of all i bought such a thing uh, this is a raven. Uh, I liked it very much. Uh, so this is not a scissor fob. I made it a scissor fob. I already found a black uh, Count Scott uh, uh, scissors and I just attached it. But I think this one is very, very glamorous. So it has like paillettes, it has beads. It's, it's made of black velvet and the quality, it's very good. So its quality is very good. That's why I decided that I like it. And um, I thought that it's going to be very glamorous scissor fob for um, Halloween, for, uh, uh, I don't know, water, because of, of its black color. And I also bought a magnet. This is a yeoman or a beef eater, as it's called. And uh, I will use it in my uh, London design. And I hope very much, by the way, I hope very much that I'm going to use them for my um, one of my future designs because now i'm getting materials together and hopefully <laughs> this is going to be one of my future designs and 
If it's going to be like this, I'm going to tell you more details about some other London uh, places and the English places in it as well. But it's going to be London uh, places mostly. So, um, yes, so this is what I have finished. This is what I have been like uh, continuing, continued stitching. This is what I plan to stitch. Hope you'll enjoy the little film about uh, Tower of London and see you in my next videos. Until then, bye bye.